What's going on, boys and girls? It's fin number 2582. And well, you're probably now wondering, uh, now that you've got Sony Vegas Pro 10, what are you going to do with this pro with this software? And what are you going to use it for after getting uh, cap after you, uh, capturing your gameplay and audio? Uh, but before we get to that, we actually have to go through the process of, cap of uh, properly capturing our audio and our video. And this uh, specifically for the HTP VR, because for the other um, capture devices, there's many different settings that I don't want to mess with because of the whole high quality with 720p and all the stuff like that um, so the first thing you want to do is and this is like I think it's uh, maybe one version outdated uh, but I, I can't get to downloading the thing it doesn't matter what you have as long as you have a screen like this um, that looks sort of like this um, uh, you're fine uh, but what you're gonna need is to uh, uh, change uh, some of your settings uh, in here, just leave it at default. I didn't do anything with it. Some of you guys are going to have stuff like uh, your brightness like that. I don't know. Just some messy stuff like that. Uh, that It came with your default and you know you haven't even touched it yet. Um, that happened to me, but you know it doesn't really change anything just leave it there just don't touch it uh this make sure it's ntsc um underscore m i believe that's for the U us and if it's uh for uh britain or something i think it's a pal i'm not sure about this but also leave it at default don't touch anything over here uh this is you have to make sure it's checked on vcr input and i'll put enable um and yeah that's for the device settings then for the format settings is where all the magic happens if you probably haven't tested this a, a couple of times on how the uh, quality of the video is and you probably have it at like four or something this is the reason why the quality wasn't good this bar right here determines your quality uh, a lot of people say leave it at 8 or, or put it somewhere in between 8 and 13.5. I just leave it at 13.5 even though the default one is in the middle at better at 8 Mbps. I just put it at 13.5. Uh, now make sure this one is a, con a, a content, constant bit rate. Uh, this one right here, if you're probably wondering, this is just uh, your HD PVR where it has the little red light or some lights it has on the front. Uh, this right here disables those lights when, uh, while you're recording. And this over here, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, boosting your audio input level uh, to a higher level. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Luma and Chroma, this is just some stuff from what I, I've actually researched uh, when I just got my HC PVR. It, this Luma and Chroma stuff is, is just uh, something that can't be seen with the human eye. It's something like, um, I'm not sure what it's for, but it's ju it just kind of affects um, the way your eye sees it. And it kind of like, if it's on too high, it, uh, it won't be so appealing to your eyes or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, for this, make sure it's at AC3 audio encoder and yeah just put hit apply and then okay or just okay i'm not sure about that for here if you play on playstation 3 obviously click on playstation 3 i tried a avc hd but it doesn't really work so make sure it's on playstation 3 uh, if you're on the xbox hit on the uh, click on the xbox and then for the xbox you will actually have the saved format or the output setting to mp4 which is a lot easier to work with but if you're on the ps three you're gonna have to use m2ts but that's fine too um here it's where you're gonna um actually put a folder to all this or or where you're gonna save all your recordings um i don't really like enabling preview on recording because from what i've heard it kind of makes the software run smoother if you don't enable it so i just leave it like that hardware acceleration just leave it uh checked and then when I record, I just minimize it because I've also heard that it um, runs smoother. Make sure your video input, just leave all this stuff um, default, except for this one. I'm pretty sure if you have a uh, 5.1 surround sound headset connected uh, or plugged into the audio device output for your PS3 or Xbox 360, I'm pretty sure that you can click on the 5.1 channels and it will work perfectly so that your video will uh, be outputted in a 5.1 surround sound. Um, so yeah, that's about the audio. All you uh, about the video. All you have to do is hit capture. You capture the um, video for however much long uh, you have to capture it for, and then you just um, stop ca the capturing. Uh, close this thing, and then you you're probably wondering, hey, well, I already want to get my audio, and th this is the simple thing. Um, the thing is, 
you want to know if you're going to be recording live or if you're going to be putting up a normal commentary. And if you're wondering, most YouTubers put up just normal commentaries and they don't really do live commentaries. They only do live commentaries if it says, if it says in the title above. Uh, but regularly they just do a commentary over the video after they've already recorded the video. Uh, if you want to do it live, go check out part three uh, because you're going to have to... You're basically going to have to... No, don't go check out part three. Sorry. Uh, you're basically going to have to get the audio first. And that's what I'm really showing you guys how to get the audio. But you're going to have to be recording the audio as you're playing. So let me go show you guys. Let, let's go ahead and show you uh, how you can actually do this. All you have to do is go on Google. So google.com it's really simple just go on google.com and search up audacity so audacity it's on it's over here audacity and you just click on download it takes you to this page link will be in the description and also an annotation of, on the screen if you don't want to google it uh, here you can download it for windows mac or linux whatever you have uh, it doesn't really matter you can download it there and this is the software you're going to be using to record your audio so after you already have all your settings after you already have captured your gameplay and you want to get all this stuff um uh, you want to put a commentary over it, open up Audacity. It's a free software, no crack, no stuff like that. It's really simple. You just go to the website and you can easily download it. Now that you have Audacity, um, you can hit record. And again, if you want to record live, you just hit record. And you will also record with your HD PVR at the same time that you're playing. So you're recording from your audio from here and then your uh, video from the HD PVR software. Total Media Extreme 2 or 3 or whatever you have. Um, so yeah, so all you do is hit record. So then you start recording and say, hi, hi, my name is Omera Twin. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And then you stop the recording when you're done. Uh, what I like to do because, um, you guys are probably wondering, well, it's not going to be that accurate if you do it this way and you're not going to have much stuff on it. Uh, uh and as you're moving the gameplay, you want to see the gameplay. What I like to do and what most YouTubers do is they, um, they open up the gameplay like this. And they minimize it. I don't know if they minimize it, but I do. I make it smaller like this. And then as I make it smaller, I hit record. And then I, uh, I start recording. And if it already starts off the time, you just hit pause, play again, hit record, and then you start your commentary. That's how I regularly do it. Um, so, yeah, you get that. And then once you're done your audio, all you have to do is go to File, Export, and make sure this is at WAV, Microsoft Signed 16-bit PMC. I don't know what that stands for. Uh, make a file name, save it in your desktop, wherever you want it to go. I'll name this, uh, wh whatever, I don't know, RC. I don't even, I, I won't name it because I have a bunch of files here. Um, so, no, don't save ch uh, changes. Uh, but really, that's all you need. All you need is Audacity, number one. And also your um, video recording software, which is going to be Total Media Extreme 2, 3, or 4, whatever you have. Uh, make sure your uh, recording settings are fine. And please go check out part 3 to see how you can actually put these together in Sony Vegas Pro 10 or 11. And please read, comment, and subscribe. This has been Omero 2582. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below and see if it works. Um, all you have to do is capture the gameplay. That's the second part. First part, um, you're going to need the software. If you didn't see that part, just go check it out. There's going to be an annotation on the screen and a link down below. Please read, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in part three.